It is hard to imagine an issue in San Francisco that has gotten people more fired up on all sides. Homeless encampments on city streets. And tonight, it seems like the city is getting ready to start sweeping camps again, even as a year-long battle over the issue plays out in court. Betty Yu tells us it all comes down to the definition of a single phrase. The city says that the majority of homeless people in encampments that they offer shelter to routinely turn them down. But now they won't just be able to stay on the street under new court guidance. Come on. on any given day, residents say Willow Street off Van Ness is lined with trash and tents. The folks who know Willow, it's really infamous and it's gotten really, really bad for two years. It's extremely unsafe. We see a lot of electricity being stolen. We've seen fires. We've seen vandalism. And on Monday night, a neighbor also captured a rare drug bust on the street. Focusing on Willow uh, Street, which has been a very problematic street for many, many years. Last Department month, Mayor London Breed posted a video of her visit to Willow Street, showing workers cleaning it up. She said the goal was to get people into shelter and off the street. Residents said by the next day, the encampments returned. Things get better for a day or two, but it goes back to normal. But on Monday, the mayor stated good news. The court will allow the city to resume enforcing laws against sitting, lying, or sleeping on public property. The Ninth Circuit provided clarity on who's considered involuntarily homeless. If city workers are offering um, specific offers of available shelter to unhoused individuals and they refuse that offer of shelter, then the laws on the books can be enforced against them. Or if they have shelter otherwise or have the means to get shelter, they're not allowed to keep a tent on the streets. City Attorney David Chu said this means that we will see fewer encampments over time and cleaner streets. Still, the lawsuit brought on by homeless advocates is still pending, and the ban on clearing encampments until there are more shelter beds than homeless people is still in place. But the mayor said we now have a path forward to enforce laws against those who are voluntarily homeless. I'd say it's a really good thing that they clarified it because, first of all, a lot of these people need the homes. So being able to approach them and tell them that there's a home for you would do them a, a lot of good. But then the ones who do not want to be moved, uh, we believe, at least some of us believe that, uh, a lot of them create a lot of trouble. Since I first reported on Willow Street nearly two years ago, a new encampment has popped up on Van Ness, a block away. And residents say it's only grown. Yeah, the residents, we were talking about it, which is now there is no excuse. Now at least some of it has to get cleaned up. Now, critics of some of these sweeps have called them inhumane and a violation of people's civil rights. The city attorney says they are still working out when to sweep certain encampments, but they will know more in a few weeks. At the same time, the trial date for federal court has been set for late next year.